can I do for you? Aren't you the gentleman in charge of the finances? Uh, well, I should think so. After all, I'm the treasurer of the committee. We'd like a small discount, if you please. Fifty percent. Fifty percent? Of what, huh? Of that unconscionable registration fee. Who can afford to pay it? Aha! Now, if I understand you correctly, you only want to pay 50% of the registration fee. That's only 5,000 francs. Mm, that's all the money we have. We'll pay the rest if we win the race. Mr. Robusti, you can think of some way to help the ladies. You always have such good ideas. Uh, uh, I would really love to give you a small discount. Only, only what's going to happen if they win the race? then my head would really be on the block. How can I explain to the other drivers why they had to pay twice as much? And what if we agree to accept only half of the prize money? Oh, I would have to discuss that with the committee before I could agree. Oh, it won't work. Hmm. Why don't you just forget it? If you had any idea how we need that money. But then that's our problem, not yours. Thanks for listening. <laughs> why don't you stop by later in case the committee changes my mind? Bless you, my son. We'd better get home. It was nice to meet you. Just a minute, sisters. Hello. Jimmy, don't tell me you managed to find the entry money. Well, sort of. <laughs> Did you hear that? Now we can finally pay off the loan. Got to win it first. I'm just finishing up uh, filling out my registration form. It's mm. a lot of paperwork. Well, uh, when it comes to that sort of thing, we really know her way of... <gasps> oh, dear. Hmm. Knows her way around my foot. Now you put your glasses on. I'd appreciate it if you'd have a look at this. Now then, you mustn't fill in any of the blanks between number 14 and number 19. Simply put in non-applicable. Do you understand? Uh, this way you get full insurance coverage without having to pay for it. Now here, just forget the deposit. Paragraph 12, section 41, states that no deposits shall be required. Hey, you must have gone over the competition rules pretty thoroughly, Sister Joanna. For all the good it did us. Give the man his money back, sister. What? Oh, yes. We really appreciate your trying to help us, Jimmy. Here. Oh, look at it. Tell me, you haven't gone and sold your car now. Whoever told you that that was my money, huh? The children said you were the one who had given them the money. They said it was your contribution to our entry fee. Now that we're not driving in the competition, I'll have to return it. Won't I? Well, uh, don't you think you could find some other use for this money? I guess so. Absolutely. I'll say we can. Well, then, it's yours. You mean we... You heard him, sister. He said the money was ours. We'd better get going. Thanks so much, Jimmy. And lots of luck. She was looking forward to spending the prize money on new equipment for our little invalid children down at the orphanage. We'll be cheering for you, Jimmy. Wait for us. I'll sure try. <gasps> Watch Excuse where you're me. going, sister. Ooh, I hope the little baby is all right. Huh? That's oh. no little baby. That's my lunch. Oh. Hey, it's the mad inventor. I've got news for you. I got that other 5,000 out of the Marchese. Now you can cancel your bet with him and pay him his money back. You're giving me this as a gift? Why not? I owe you my life as it is. Do me a favor, take it. A little small change could come in handy. What do you say, huh? Am I right? Well, Aldo, I guess you are. <laughs> We're looking for a little inspiration. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you recall? To help our friends, the two nuns. Oh, I usually have inspiration by the battleful, but I'm sorry, this time, uh, uh nothing doing, no. Tell me, what do you say to this inspiration? Good heavens, what have we here? Why, it's 5,000 francs. Now, don't you lose it. 5,000 francs? Well, I'll be a baboon. A message from heaven. Oh. Miss Bingermeyer? Yes, sir? You mentioned all these good ideas I always have. Well, here's another one. How do you like it? The registration fee for the two nuns.
starting line, please. Car 12 to the starting line. Thank you. They're waiting for you We're up there. On our way. Sorry, we're so late, but we had to get Mother Superior's permission to enter this race, and that took time. She didn't see why we Not had to worry, pay. Not to sister. Everything all right? Ready to go? Oh, yes. We've already filled the tank, and we've had all the tires checked. We're ready whenever you are. Hold on, all sister. All right. Take her away. to you now from one of those perilous intersections that marks the beginning of a so-called forbidden route. Invariably, drivers try to gain a head start by sneaking onto one of these routes and running the risk of being completely disqualified from competition and thus losing their 10,000 franc entry fee. These attempts to get around the rules are almost always nipped in the bud and it is amazing to note the many different tricks used by the referees to catch these cheaters in the act. Here you are. Uh, thank you. Get Bye. your apples, peaches, Pomegranates, oh, lunches. Care for the French bean, madam. See anyone? Oh, here <laughs> comes one, sir. Huh? Better get your hand on that sign. You sure? Because it's clear. Good, let's get going. Stop, stop, stop! Let's have your rally pass. You're out of the race. Are you crazy, lady? Hey, who are you, anyway? Jakob Robusti, head referee. If you're going to disqualify us, then you'll have to throw out that car over there. Oh. Oh, what car? I don't see a car. Right over there. Do your job, bud. <laughs> Turn around quickly, sister. This road is a no-no. Hello there, Mr. Robusti. We missed you at the beginning of the race. Hello. Uh, Aren't you going to confiscate their rally pass? What, our rally pass? What's this about? You aren't permitted to drive here. Mr. Robusti, please tell this gentleman that the rules of the competition, paragraph 6, subsection 14, only forbid the use of specific roads when the car is going forward. And you can see we are obviously not driving forwards. Oh, but of course you are. No, we are driving backwards. That is also obvious. The back of our car is up in the front. Now, just look at our brake lights over there. Why, the front is in the back, and the back is in the front. Why, that's permitted. But there's nothing wrong in running a race with a car facing in the wrong direction. <laughs> there's no reason at all why you couldn't have installed a triple reverse gear system in your car as well. <laughs> Let's go, sister. We've lost far too much time already. <laughs> <laughs> According to this, our meeting place should be right up there. Oh, God. Here comes the helicopter with a container for our car. Magnifico. That helicopter was a brilliant idea. down. Somebody signaling to overtake us. What? On a forbidden road? 
Come on, sisters. Better get a move on, or would you like me to give you a push? The nerve of that fellow. He's in violation of the rules, and he's making fun of us. Oh, you just wait till we catch up with you, fellow. We'll show you a thing or two.